morning everybody and welcome back to our channel it is thursday the 26th of september and we are just about to head out um to meet my friend and her little girl which is freddie's best friend and um, for them to have a little bit of a play date my your charlotte that's right you want to meet your charlotte my so my friend. what Wow, a web. What did you say about Charlotte? Freddie, what did you say about Charlotte? Charlotte, my friend. She's your friend. That's a good boy. Yeah, good lad. Spiders, web. I can see it. Wonder. I can see it. I can see it blowing in the wind. On the plane. Cool. It's exciting stuff, isn't it? Ah. <laughs> Are you cue? drilling the ground? On cue, that wow. Am I going to have a go? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the shaker gone? Where's the shake? It's there! Wow! Bye bye, Freddy! Where are you going? Bye bye! Okay, bye bye! <laughs> Are you going to be a teenager? Go on then, Kevin. Under the sea. Under the sea. <laughs> See you, Kevin. <laughs> All right then. Cool. Bye. Two minutes. See you soon. Yep. So that rubbish to <laughs> Want to go back up the stairs to do that? No. Boo! Boo! <laughs> That's noisy. Hi guys! So we've just got back from the town centre and Freddie has fallen asleep in the car even though he said he was going to try and stay awake, bless him. Um, but he did say that if he did fall asleep, he would hold it in, meaning that he wasn't going to have a wee. Um, so I've put him in the living room and I've just popped him on a cushion um, with a towel over the top of it, just in case. So I've just put a big bang on the TV. And there he is. So I've just made myself some lunch as well. Oh, I'm just obsessed by these protein, Warburton's protein bagels. Oh my God, they're just so, so nice. I've got that with some pulled pork and some of the vegan cheese. I'm gonna sit and enjoy that. And then I'm gonna have to start getting ready for the photo shoot later, because I've got to do all makeup and everything. So I thought I could do a little vlog while I'm doing that so you can see how my makeup's gonna turn out. Um, I've got a clue, I'm just gonna make it up as I go along and hope for the best. Hi guys, so I've got to start getting ready for this photo shoot now. Um, and I basically need to sort my face out, um, make it all pale, make myself look dead. Now I've stripped all my makeup off, but normally I look really, really pale. But for some reason this afternoon, like I look really bright. Um, but you know, this is one of those things. So I'm just gonna start doing my makeup. And I thought you might like to see me do it. So the first thing I'm going to put on my skin is um, it's Makeup Revolution SFX Special Effects White Face which is probably going to brighten and whiten my complexion. So I'm just going to go and basically just hold that on 
and see what it looks like. I've never done this before, it's just trial and error. Um, I'm going to just see what happens. So, let it hold on now. It's not as, um, it's not as creamy. It's like a normal makeup. So I'm kind of patting it on more than anything. So we're just going to smother this all over and make me look dead. I think the thing that I'm probably most nervous about is um, getting there because we have to park in a car park which belongs to the local swimming pool and then like literally walk across the road. I'm back, sorry about that, I just had to go and see Freddie because he's just woken up, obviously he would wake up by now. So as you can see I'm starting to look quite pale so I'm just going to put some more on sort of around my cheeks and stuff because just like I say for some reason today I am looking really really bright and brazy which is ironic because normally I seem to spend my time trying to not look so pale and yet today when I want to actually look pale it's just not happening right so oh, well, that goes on all right my pad that I'm using here is one that I always use for shows and stuff and I give it a good wash um but it probably was still a little bit um done when I started using it but that's probably not gonna do any harm right so I've got a little bit of covering sort of all over there we go now I need to do it down at my neck and as you know it really doesn't matter if I get anything on my dress I've even been and cleaned my car like with my dress to like try and get some dirt on it um, and would you believe it even trying Jason's motorbike which um, has been sitting in the garage for ages and then I've just um, tried to rub my dress all over it didn't even give me that much dirt that I actually wanted so I've got a mirror next to me just to use so if I'm not looking at the cam, quite looking at the camera, that's why. Right, so I'm just doing my arms. Apparently I've got to like use talc and powder and stuff and everything I can imagine to try and dull down my skin. So I'm just going to try and do my best. Um, to be honest, I look white on the camera than I do in the mirror, so I'm not really sure. Hi, Freddie. Hello. He's probably going to like totally freak out by the time I've got all my makeup on, so that's probably not a good thing, but, you know. Right, so, that's looking like quite a nice coating on there now. I think I could probably do with a little bit. No! I think what I've just done is I've still got a bit of town makeup on the other side of here, so I'm just going to have to try and do what I can right okay so right that's a good white base I've actually got a picture on the the laptop beside us as well all right okay just you can see that's just about a good cover and that's that's quite a good base to go from I think right I'm just gonna go with that I mean when we get there they're gonna check what anyway so obviously this is like a whole new like a makeup thing like I've never had to do anything like this before so um I think next I'm gonna go in with some powder and I actually ordered this one online it's called Stargazer um, and it was just from um on Amazon so I'm, I'm just gonna like put that over the top and see what happens let me know hopefully I might just sort of matte it down a bit more um I don't know, I've never had to do make a for show like this. I mean, obviously I've done like Halloween stuff and things like that and, you know, but yeah, I think you make it for Halloween and um, you kind of just kind of sort yourself out, don't you? It doesn't really matter, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just going to like zoom out a little bit. Oh, I look really weird. Right, that's better. Um, right, so just patting this on here. Right, I would say I look, oops, <laughs> um, peeling off there, on onto my 
neck up as well. And then I've got talcum powder as well, so I'm just going to hide a load of that on. And hopefully when I get there, they can finish off. So I'm just trying to do my shoulders a bit because they seem quite dark on holidays. So anyway, right. Oh, drop the... Right. Okay. Cool. So literally, I've got this um, number seven palette, which I got for Christmas of Jason's mom um, a few years ago so I'm going to use that and then I've also got this one from Salt and Glow which I can never open which has got like some a good dark purple in which I think might come in handy um, so I'm just really going to start going in with the colours and hope for the best I don't know that's all I can do really um, so I might go in with um, some of this as like a base um, I, yeah, that's quite good. I this brush that I'm currently using. Um, one day I like forgot to put my makeup on and left the house. I know it's really weird, isn't it? Um, and I bought this brush in a little set from the pound shop. Um, I only actually wanted the um bronzer brush out of it, so I just bought this, and then I've literally just kept them. For this sort of thing, um, like shows and anything like that, because this, well, this brush in particular, I wouldn't say it's like the best, but um, like for what I'm doing right now, it's um, quite good. It's nice to have um, just extra brushes. Actually, that colour it works quite well. Um, I'm gonna, I've got like a dark, a purple, purpley one here. I'm just gonna like go in with that as well. Um, poor Freddy though, I'm gonna have to like be totally careful after I've done this because he's probably gonna be like, oh my god, what's happened to my mom? Where's she gone? So I'm gonna take this purpley colour like down the sides of my nose as well. Um, I'm just going to quickly look at the picture that I've got on the laptop. Um, um, I'm not really sure what I've done with this picture here. Two seconds. Um, okay, that's better. Just zoom out a bit. Yeah, she's, she sort of took the darkness down there a bit. I could do with going in with more of a purpley colour, I think that would look quite good. So I'm just going to do that and then she's just took it down like that. Um, so I'm just going to do the same. Yeah, I'm really more bothered about like walking over to the venue with all of this makeup on, knowing that there's going to be like people around. Um, because where the place it is, there's like loads of shops and everything beside. Um, so there's going to be loads of people around, which is going to be quite scary really. Um, maybe more so for them than me. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I feel like I'm looking quite dead around my eyes now. Um, that, that's actually looking quite good. I really like, I like that. Um, I've actually also got a black here as well, which I think I'm just going to use to maybe like define a little bit of here. See, this isn't a normal sort of makeup tutorial that you get, is it? This is not your glamorous ones. Right. So... Yeah, that's like. Hi, Freddie. <laughs> my name is friends. You and my friends. He's, he's, he's doing it. Look, he's signing. Friends, let me see. Friends. Friends, Freddie, what's happened to Mummy's face? The mummy put makeup on. <laughs> he's not so sure. He's not too sure. Right. That's really good. Freddie's just showing me some sign language there. Right, so that's just come down there like, oh yeah, that's good. 
Oh, that makes me look really dead. That's good. That's good. Right, and then we'll just do the same on that side. I suppose you can't really, like, say if I've done good or bad. Like, as long as I put something on, like, when I get there, like, I'm sure they will, like, sort it all out. Um, so I'm going to go in and just put this. Now, this is, like, a purple colour. Um... I'm actually probably going to use this on my lips as well. Oh. This is kind of like the ultimate in contour and this is like contouring for the undead. Um, Maybe that's actually what I should call this video. So as you can see, that's just really sort of like making me look more dead. And this colour that I'm using is actually just the purple colour out of um the soap and glory set, which is actually it's let me see. The so web blue. It's called Dandy Plum. It's really actually quite good. It's really just Helping those bits just pop out there, which I think looks quite good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm quite liking that. Right, so in terms of eyeliner, things like that, I picked up this one, um, which could do with sharpening. I'm going to go and get a sharpener after this. I'm back! Right, just before I do that, Madeline's just had a really, really good suggestion and that I need to do a little bit of contour. Oh my goodness me, I've just picked up this brush. This is an accent brush, it's a Real Techniques one. It's not one that I normally use in my normal everyday makeup, but I'm actually gonna try this one to do a bit of contour and dominoes. Um, we'll just go in quite light, I think. There we are. Mm -hmm. Well, so it's kind of just the same as normal contouring, but heavier. What do you reckon? Let's start to give the overall look. I think it's looking alright. Right. So in terms of um, brows, I'm going in quite dark. This is brown. Right. But it's actually an eyeliner. So I'm going in quite heavy with this. Um, and I'm not, I'm not doing any of the usual, what you know, sort of brow techniques that I would use because I'm just thinking would I, would I bother? I'm not bothering anyway this is a photo shoot to make me look dead so so basically the people who are going to be attending the photo shoot who've been called for the photo shoot all of the ancestors so basically that's all of the chorus the show and the dancers as well who play a massive part. It was good that I couldn't audition to be a dancer. Right, so that doesn't matter if they're even or not. Because I'm dead. And I'm going to go in quite heavy. I'm going to go in for some um, 90s highlight eyeliner here. I'm even going to do the old... Ooh. Like some people watching this video will be like, Oh my goodness me, what on earth is 90s eyeliner? But any of you know what I'm talking about who were there, it's just like really heavy under the eyes. So, there we are. That's really helped it pop, hasn't it? That's really good. Right, so, I'm then going to get a mascara. I'm just going to use my normal mascara. I like the Roller Lash from Benefit. It's my favourite one. So I'm just going to go in and put another coat of that under my eyes. Uh, I'm doing the old um, mas put mascara on technique. Right, so I'm going in heavy. Do you know how you like normally panic when you get it under your eyes? Uh-uh, not today. Right, 
I think that looks quite good, doesn't it? The only thing I might say is like my skin round about maybe looks a little bit too, I don't know, let me have a look at this picture a second, see if she's got anything else. She's gone really heavy on the eyes. She's kind of got maybe a little bit more contour on that. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this. I'm going to just put a little bit more, like you would normally put on for every day. Obviously, you wouldn't be wearing this to all the shops. I mean, like, the technique, like, having it darker at this side, creating, like, a, a smoke effect. But I suppose this is, like, smoke effect on another level, really, isn't it? So, okay, and then we'll just come on this side and do the same thing. Make sure we've got heavy in there, heavy in there. Yeah, I'm liking this. I think it's... Right, what I'm going to do, then, is... Really emphasize that. Right, okay. So I basically just use like brown, black, purpley colors. These, I'll just turn around, I'll show you the shades out of here that I've used. I've got, I've used that bottom one, that one up there, out of this palette. So that one there, sorry, and that one up, up above. I then went in with the soap and glory on which I've sillily closed and I've got what did I say it was the dandy plum which is that one there and then I've just used some just normal black out of here there we are and I don't think that looks too bad only thing I'm going to say is my lips so what I think I'm going to do is get some Get some of this white base that I used and just put a tiny bit on my lips and then actually I might try and mix it with a little bit of this dark purple yeah that's it I'm just mixing it with the dark purple on my hand and then I'm just going to put it on my lips So I'm just sort of using the eye hair of that cream just to get a colour. I think, oh, I think I might need a little bit of like a ready tone in there as well. And then, that, um, that white base though has done well to like give my like a cover in before I put that on um, I think I'm maybe going to use some more of this purple out of the Salt and Glory set I uh, I think I might just put some black over the top of that We're not having the pants up at the minute. People are actually walking past and looking in. Unless you think, oh my god, what on earth is she doing? So I think I just need to just go on my nose a little bit. Uh oh. I just blend that out a little bit. Yeah. Right, okay. I think that looks quite scary. Okay. So. I'm just going to turn around and show you the photo of kind of what I've attempted to use and then you can tell me if you think I've gone anywhere near. So I've used that. What do you reckon? This is the most fun makeup that I've ever done for a show before. So what I need to do now is um, put my wig on. Um, I need to whiten down my skin. Um, and that's about it really, I'll get my wig. So I'm going to call my makeup done for now, 
and then find out once I get to the photo shoot whether it's good, bad, what I need to do differently. So I'm going to put a wig on next. So I've got a homemade wig cap at the minute, um, which is basically like a pair of tights um, and then you just put it on your head, tie it in a knot and cut off the excess. So that's what I'm going to be using as my wig cap today. So you just put it on. Get all your hair in. There we are. It's starting to look a little weird now. Right, so, popping it behind my ears for now. See how well it stays on. I think that looks, makes, makes me look even scarier. Ooh. <laughs> oh, well, I remember, I better take my earrings out. Because I'm sure I wouldn't have been wearing Ted Baker rose gold earrings if I'd been brought from the dead. I'm sure I would have lost them a long time ago. I think this makes me look really scary now. Right, okay, and then we have the Marilyn Monroe wig. So it's not the best wig in the world and I'm sure it's gonna need some sorting out, but basically this is it for a night. So the best way to put your wig on is to just find the front, which is there. I'm kind of tempted to make put it over at one side to give it a little bit of a side part, and as Marilyn Monroe did have a side part in. So we shall try that and then just flip it over. Oh we're ready guys. Ta-da! And here we have a Marilyn Monroe. Okay, so it's probably not the best wig I could have bought. Um, but you know what? It'll do. And when we get there, obviously they're gonna be sorting them out, fixing what up. Yeah, there you go. That is my face done ready for my will and my room. And the only thing I need to do as well is I bought some a Johnson baby powder. There we are, I don't know if that's gonna come up there. And I'm just gonna be putting that all over. I'll zoom out. All over my skin. Um just because when I've done my face so white now and then I'm looking at my arms, oh my god, this is just poofing everywhere. It's gonna be all over the floor. Like I can see now, like you don't even think you're that brown, which I'm not really, but once I'm starting to um, put this white on my face, then the rest of my skin's looking really brown. So we'll just put a little bit more on. They can sort out when I get there. There we go. Plenty on. I might have a certain technique that I can use to, um, oh, I've got that big bit of makeup on my hand now. See if I can get it off. Um, certain technique something that I might be able to use to keep my skin nice and white I don't know not really sure what to do so oh my god it's just poofing everywhere right so put some more on there da 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 some more da 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 right it's starting to look whiter Right, so, well, what do you reckon? Do you look like Marilyn? I look all right. <laughs> oh, well, right, so, the next thing that I've actually got to do is I've got to go and pick my mum up from work <laughs> and bring my mum here, and then I'm going off to the photo shoot. I'm not looking forward to having to like be outside like when people see me dressed like this they're going to be like what on earth is she doing but what can I do? This is the life as they say. Right guys I'll catch up with you in a bit. Hi guys so this is probably one of the scariest things that I've ever had to do. I'm currently walking like outside like just in a normal place dressed as Marilyn Monroe <laughs> with all my makeup done and like this just looks really bizarre. I look dead. I look more ill than I actually look on the camera. There's loads of cars around. It's really, really busy. Um, people are looking at <laughs> This is really, really bizarre. I can't even get across the road. Oh, and I've left the umbrella in the car as well. 
so it's all going well. The sky's pretty dark. Um, yeah, I'm just wondering what people are going to make of the fact that I am currently in the middle of fields, town centre, crossing the road. I'm going in. Right, okay, so I think I found the location. It seems to be right. Oh, there's more people. More people dressed in lots of uh, white now. So. <laughs> Hello. Right, I feel a bit better now because there's lots of we here. But it's starting to rain. So, oh my god. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Good evening. So I've just got back from the rehearsal after the photo shoot, uh, which was really fun, but it was really cold and it was raining as well. So when we're outside, we were absolutely freezing cold and he was saying to us, um, can you try not to look so cold? And I was like, I'm trying and I'm wearing this little dress. And I hope you like the makeup that I did earlier. So I've just literally stripped everything off or done it as best I could. But I think I might have need to do my eyes a little bit more. Um, so yeah, we went straight to rehearsal after that. I ran the show, both acts, and it went well. Um, but I've come home tonight and for some reason I, f I feel a little bit of a downer. Um, I don't know why. Um, I just feel like my mood's kind of a boo. I don't know if it's because I'm a little bit hungry or what, or I'm just a bit tired. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, today when I was out, um, I bought this little candle in um, b &Ms, which smells absolutely amazing. Um, it's from the Halloween range. It was two ninety nine, and I love the little detail around here, little black sparkly. And I'm just going to be sitting that on my mantelpiece, but oh my goodness. I'm gonna let be like that soon. I don't know what it's like. I can taste, I can smell like mm, it's like marshmallowy, spicy, pumpkin y. Mm, I just love it. So I thought I would try and get a little bit ready for Halloween in a sense. I'm actually on the lookout for some orange, red, rusty coloured, um, sort of either, well ideally I would like some artificial flowers that I can put in a vase but even say some like potpourri, some sort of arrangement just to try and make the place sort of a bit more autumnal um, so I'm going to try and get that but I am going to light that candle and hopefully that will just cheer my mood up just a little bit I'm really not sure what's the matter anyway, I did go through to get some tea remembering that I'd got um, a vegan pizza when I went, when I got my Tesco shopping last week um, so I went to get it out of the freezer. Now Ben and my Madeline had pizza for tea tonight, but that was fine because there was one of the, her pizzas in the freezer. But unfortunately, Madeline's actually had my vegan pizza, <laughs> so she didn't eat all of it though. She did leave some. She didn't realise that she had the only pizza. Well, the, she ate the only pizza in the freezer, but she didn't realise that there was like another one. So there was that much of a pizza left. So I've just warmed that through in the oven. <sighs> I was looking forward to having that so I will taste what's there and hopefully it'll be nice and then I can order another one to come in the Tesco shopping and maybe try that all next week. Um, so yeah, I don't know I don't know if it's just the end of the week or whether I'm thinking ahead of the weekend and knowing that Daddy Flamingo's not going to be here and that's just maybe put me in a little bit of a bad mood. I'm not sure, I don't really feel like there's anything particularly that's made me feel a little bit down but you know maybe I'm just having one of those days because I'm sure we all have them and I should really be thinking about you know what I'm thankful for and you know try and stay a bit more positive so I'm gonna have my pizza I'm gonna light my candle I'm gonna catch up with some YouTube and then I'm gonna be heading to bed so I'm gonna end today's vlog here guys if you like our video please hit the thumbs up Please subscribe if you'd like to know when our videos are going to be on and press that bell. That would be fantastic. And we will see you all again next time. Good night. Sweet dreams. Bye.